Denver International Airport DIA has been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories ever since it opened its doors in 1995. One of the most persistent and bizarre claims about the airport is that it is connected to the Illuminati, a secret society that is said to control world events from behind the scenes. Despite the fact that there is no evidence to support this claim, many people continue to believe it. In today's video, we will be showing you why people think that Denver International Airport is connected to the Illuminati. Without further ado, let's begin. The Origins of the Conspiracy Theory The conspiracy theory that Denver International Airport is connected to the Illuminati can be traced back to the airport's construction. DIA was built to replace Denver's old Stapleton International Airport, which was considered outdated and unable to handle the growing number of passengers. Construction on the new airport began in 1989, and it was initially scheduled to open in 1993. However, the project was plagued by delays and cost overruns, and it was not until February 28, 1995 that DIA finally opened its doors to the public. During the construction of DIA, a number of strange things happened that fueled conspiracy theories. For example, some people claim that the runways at DIA were arranged in the shape of a swastika, although this claim has been debunked. Others pointed out that the airport's dedication stone had a Masonic symbol on it, which led to speculation that the airport was connected to the Freemasons, a fraternal organization that is often associated with secret societies. The Denver Airport Murals Perhaps the most striking feature of the conspiracy theories surrounding DIA is the murals that adorn the walls of the airport's main terminal. The murals were painted by artist Leo Tanguma, and they depict scenes of war and destruction as well as a group of children from different cultures, holding hands in a circle. Some people have interpreted the murals as evidence of a sinister plot by the Illuminati to bring about a new world order. For example, one of the murals, titled In Peace and Harmony with Nature, shows a group of children gathered around a giant plant with animals and people from different cultures living in harmony. However, in the background there are scenes of destruction and death, with a city burning and people fleeing in terror. Some conspiracy theorists claim that this mural represents the Illuminati's plan to depopulate the world and return it to a state of nature. Another mural, titled The Children of the World Dream of Peace, shows a group of children from different cultures standing in a circle, holding hands. Above them is a giant figure wearing a gas mask, and behind the figure are scenes of destruction, including a city on fire and people fleeing in terror. Some people have interpreted this mural as evidence that the Illuminati is planning a global pandemic or that it is planning to unleash a biological weapon on the world. The Underground Tunnels Another piece of evidence cited by conspiracy theorists to support the claim that DIA is connected to the Illuminati is the network of underground tunnels that run beneath the airport. These tunnels are used to transport luggage and other materials between the airport's terminals, but some people believe that they serve a more sinister purpose. According to the conspiracy theory, the underground tunnels at DIA are part of a secret network that connects the airport to other locations around the world. So people claim that the Illuminati uses these tunnels to transport people and goods between secret locations, or that they are used to house secret laboratories where the Illuminati develops advanced technology and weapons. The War Statue Perhaps the most bizarre feature of DIA is the large statue of a blue horse that stands outside the airport's main terminal. The horse, which is officially known as Blue Mustang, is 32 feet tall and weighs 9,000 pounds. It was created by artist Luis Jimenez, who unfortunately died in 2006 when a piece of the statue fell on him and severed an artery. The statue's sinister appearance has led some people to speculate that it is a symbol of the Illuminati's power and influence. The horse's glowing red eyes have been interpreted as a symbol of evil, and some people believe that it is a representation of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, a biblical prophecy of the end of the world. Others have claimed that the statue is cursed and that it has caused a number of accidents and deaths since it was installed. The Secret Bunkers Another piece of evidence cited by conspiracy theorists to support the claim that DIA is connected to the Illuminati is the presence of secret bunkers beneath the airport. According to the conspiracy theory, these bunkers are used by the Illuminati to hide from the rest of the world in the event of a catastrophic event such as a nuclear war or a global pandemic. There is some evidence to suggest that there are indeed underground facilities at DIA. In 1995, former Colorado Governor Richard Lamb claimed that there were five buildings beneath the airport that were not shown on any blueprints or maps. 
In 2016, the airport opened a new facility called the South Terminal Redevelopment Program, which included a 500-room hotel and conference center. However, some people have speculated that the real purpose of this facility is to provide a safe haven for members of the Illuminati in the event of a global crisis. The Origin of the Conspiracy Theory The conspiracy theory that Denver International Airport is connected to the Illuminati has been around since the airport opened in 1995. The theory gained traction in the early 2000s when it was promoted by a series of internet videos and websites. The videos, which were produced by a group called The Disclosure Project, claimed that the airport was built by the Illuminati as part of a plan to create a new world order. The theory was further popularized by a book called The Underground of Denver International Airport, which was written by a conspiracy theorist named Alex Christopher. In the book, Christopher claimed that DIA was built on top of a network of secret tunnels and bunkers, which were connected to other secret facilities across the country. Christopher's book became a bestseller, and it helped to cement the idea that DIA was part of a larger conspiracy. The Leo Tangema Murals One of the most controversial aspects of DIA is a series of murals painted by artist Leo Tangema. The murals, which are located in the baggage claim area, depict scenes of war and destruction, as well as images of a new world order emerging from the ashes of the old. The murals have been interpreted by some people as evidence that DIA is connected to the Illuminati. They claim that the murals contain hidden messages and symbols that reveal the true purpose of the airport. For example, the mural titled In Peace and Harmony with Nature shows a group of children holding hands around a plant. Some people believe that this mural is a reference to the Illuminati's plan to create a new world order based on environmentalism and sustainability. The swastika-shaped runways Another piece of evidence cited by conspiracy theorists to support the claim that DIA is connected to the Illuminati is the unusual layout of the airport's runways. The runways are arranged in a series of overlapping circles, which some people claim resembles a swastika. However, there is no evidence to suggest that the layout of the runways was intended to resemble a swastika. In fact, the design of the runways was based on the concept of a pinwheel, which was intended to minimize the time the plane spent taxiing between the runways and the terminal. The overlapping circles were also intended to allow planes to take off and land in multiple directions, which would improve the efficiency of the airport. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.